All right, so Ryan, with the rollout of the new 2K, is now a good time to talk about isocyanates and how they're being used in this product and how they're used in general? Sure. Obviously, it is an isocyanate cure product, and isocyanates are, are toxic. You know, there's no question about it. So you have to have safe handling procedures and protocols. You know, we would always recommend, obviously, gloves, uh, a respirator, and make sure you're spraying in a well-ventilated area slash a booth or something like that. Yep. But isocyanates are widely used in our industry and in our everyday lives, from shoes to clothing to elastic. So we're exposed to isocyanates on a daily basis. But one thing that we chose with our isocyanate system is that we chose one that actually contained a very heavy, strong solvent smell. And our reasoning behind that was there are other isocyanates that are very good isocyanates that are almost odorless. And we chose to have one that had a pungent odor smell because we wanted consumers and customers to understand and maybe be mentally aware when they smell that, that maybe I need to look at the TDSs and the SDSs for proper uh, PPE at that time. That is a great benefit, uh, just from a, a finisher's perspective, because even though you can't smell something, doesn't mean it's not dangerous. So having that little notification of, I'm smelling this, that's not good. That is a great thing. Let's head all to the lab and take a look at some test boards. Sure, that sounds right. great.